Well hello again everybody, welcome back and seeing as I can't pick locks for a couple of days I know you're used to me seeing me pick them uh, but I thought I would go through a few that I can't pick so a quick look through a bit of my naughty bucket so quite a few here so first one, we'll start off with dimples we have a cab a 20 if we can actually see that it's very faint on the key but that's dimples both sides you can just see them in there just about hopefully but that's one I've had no luck with so these two I haven't <coughs> tried too much with I've got them recently from a lot picking lawyer but this is another cabber. You can see from that key, a lot of pins in there for such a tiny, small little lock. And not really had a chance to play with it properly. But I've had a play and not got into it. Likewise with this one, which is the Sergeant Kiso. Another one lot of pins in all different directions so that one's been keeping me out but I must try harder this one's a little bit unusual don't know if you can read it on there ellipse never heard of that before <coughs> this I think has got about 16 pins in it and I have no key for it but I've had a play with that one no joy and along with that I also got a Lips pin tumbler which has got quite a tight keyway. The pins sit very low. I don't know whether we can actually see that. Let's see if I can get better light on there. Yeah, but the pins sit right down low onto that left hand bit of warding. So trying to get under them. He's quite difficult and with no key with it. So that's another one that I've had no joy with. Another recent one which I haven't tried too much and this one's on loan from Lock Noob. It's a Medico, first Medico I've ever come across. It's only four pins. Uh, it's only three pins but I've had a quick play with it but that's one next on my list to have a really good go at but so far no joy <coughs> excuse me then we get on to some of these we've got a couple of DOMs a water cylinder oh, there goes the torch and a euro but this, these have got pretty nasty keyways, as you can see. You can see the amount of warding on the key, and nothing particularly special on the bitting, but they've been keeping me out, not managed to get into either of those yet. The bitting on that one's a bit more interesting and with the warding but I'm sure they will come <coughs> next another one on loan from Lock Noob is a best uh, you probably saw me repinning the best cores so I have a control key this is another one of his that doesn't have a control key and it's inside this cylinder. I've managed to actually pick this to open but I can't pick it to control and once I can pick it to control <coughs> then that will be repinned as well. So a couple of older ones here, what have we got? Uh, this one just a five pin assa 
not particularly difficult on the bitting but it just feels dead inside no feedback and I've not managed to get into that one yet next one is a Ruko I mean I've picked plenty of Rucos in the past this is just a five pinner but it just won't let me in so we shall get onto that one soon this one interesting one driving uh, when I got this it was even though it's a seven pin lock it was a six pinner <coughs> and I had a couple of them and this one I changed I'm fairly sure I changed this one and this has got a mixture of the driving spools and asset pins in it and I'm fairly sure I picked it before I sent it off on loan and since it's been back I've not managed to get into it so I think that's seven pins in there and that's a mixture of the asses and the driving pins so it does act a bit differently to both but I'm sure that one will come soon that's on my to get into list very soon so as soon as I start getting into these then you will be seeing them right we have two of these Ruko 1200s we've got quite reasonable bitting on them that one's not too bad and this one is a bit nastier and especially when you look at if we can get some light on there we can see that keyway and the low pins sit right down on that ledge and the warding runs all the way through but two of those I think this one here is probably going to be the easier of the two because the low ones are right at the very back whereas this one I've got to try and get past those very low pins to those at the back and with that keyway in there no luck with those at all at the moment next we have a couple of Evas so this one is a DPS these are side bars with extra bits on the side which I think are just key control so this one here nothing special on the bitting and I have opened this one once but just the once and it's kept me out ever since I think these also have trap pins in them as well uh, but it's basically a couple of sidebars in there to get around so that's the DPS and then we have an EPS that first one was five pins this is six pins with quite nice bitting on it lots of warding as well if we can see in that keyway there we go but no luck with that one yet so they are on the list so then another one from the lock picking lawyer which I've not actually really tried too much it's a Schlage Primus get that focused so with that we have pins to pick and the sidebar with the sliders so that's one I haven't really played with much at all but it's on my to-do list when I get a bit more time next we're on to padlocks diddy little abus 
75-40 but the thing that's kept me out of this is the keyway uh, very tiny because it's such a small lock and even with my large or smallest pick that I've been whittling down it still won't fit in there so I've got to basically work on finding a tool to pick it I don't know what it's like because I've not even got into it to have a go but it's been sitting around for a while but as soon as I sort myself out something to pick it with hopefully that one will come out of the bucket oh, a couple you saw when I did my padlock videos so we have the zone which has got very nice bitting in it where's all the light on so bitting on that is quite nice and the keyway is quite paracentric so I've managed to get a very slight full set out of it but not managed to get into it yet but yet again not one I've been trying massively on but I will get onto it that's one I really want to get into <coughs> another padlock is the Abus 83CS IC55 this came from Lock Picking Lawyer and it's got a best core in it all opens nicely and we have the control key so and we have reasonable bitting on the key but look at that keyway focus there we go just trying to get in there is an absolute nightmare but that um, yet again I shall be playing with that a bit more in the near future and last but not least is this which is a can get the light on there mercy lock mercy lock which is a government lock works very nicely and there is the key 14 levers so <coughs> this is more part of the collection than one that should be in the naughty bucket because I haven't even got a clue where to start on this one <laughs> but you never know one day so anyway that's my naughty bucket for now so thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon bye